Hello guys, we are back in Nyamira County and I am so happy to be here. I've talked about how fresh the air is, how green you can see it is. Honestly, I would love to come back here again and again and I'm even more excited because I get to show you guys the progress. This house might look familiar, but there's been so many changes. You can immediately tell by just looking at the outside, so many changes. And if you look over that way, the gazebo is coming in nicely. We've done a bit of clearing out here, but Jesus Christ, this is wonderful. I love being here. I don't even want to go inside, but there's so much I want to show you guys. So let's head over to the staircase and we can start the tour. We are at the grand entrance and I know, I know right now it doesn't seem that grand, but we're working on it and I guarantee you, you know what we do with entrances. We make them such a huge impression of the house and definitely we're going to do the same thing for here. So yeah, as much as it doesn't look like there's much going on, just keep watching. I guarantee you it's going to turn out fabulous. But before I can even go in, look at the molding detail. I have to give props to the lead designer because every single thing I'm going to show you today, starting with this molding is hand picked by him. Mr. Cleophas really is a genius when it comes to this industry and that's why even for me walking through these properties and getting to see these details and understand the thought process behind them it's really really amazing to me and just showcases that really our lead designer is someone who has a true passion for this job. Now that I'm done with that rant look at the molding. It is so creative all around the windows. The way it frames the house is just incredible and the one thing I really really love of. My favorite piece of this molding, of course, is the columns at the entrance. I love that it's such a unique feature and it gives me major Grecian vibes. If any of you have ever watched Hercules, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You see the top, those little, that little feature, the little uh, curly feature at the top of them just really gives me major Grecian vibes. And it's something that is so unique. I haven't seen it in any of the properties that we've done, which just shows me that we're growing. We're constantly looking for those new things to do, those exciting things and this is a grand example of that we've done so much molding we've molded different types of columns and just to see that we're able to still come up with different designs that are still so exciting I love it and I hope you guys love it too and if you want to see the before like you're gonna see the before as this video is going on because major changes I know at this stage it doesn't look like much but there's been so many changes let's go inside and then I can show you more details of what we've done We are in the living room and there's been such a huge change in here. I know I always say that, but it's so important for me to point these, these things out because it's one of those things you wouldn't really notice until someone actually pointed it out to you. Standing here, it feels so different. I always make sure to tell you how it feels for me because that is what the client is going to experience when they walk in. It feels completely different and this is because there's been a major, major change in terms of the structure. So what we've done here is actually dug down the floor one and a half feet. You can see over here, this is the perfect place for you to get a closer look and understand how much deeper we've dug. So this line that you can see here marks where the floor initially was. The reason we felt the need to dig it is because with the floor being that high, it meant the ceiling felt really low and there was no way we were going to be able to lift up that ceiling and you know you guys we love doing incredible gypsum designs and that was going to be so limiting. So we were able to dig down, give the space a much higher feeling ceiling, therefore making the entire room feel more spacious. So that was a huge change we've done. And again, this is another place where you'll get to see the before footage of all the different changes we've made, not just the floor, because those bits here and there that were just not aligned properly or were just not sitting in an area that made sense in terms of 
making the most out of the space so you'll be able to see all those things but I am really excited to see what's going to happen here I can already feel how vast this is you can see there's people hard at work creating steps because when you dig out a floor that deep of course you're going to have to put in steps to make sure that all the other areas around are easily accessible I am very happy with the progress we haven't been here for very long and the changes the speed at which we're working how the house feels every time I come back is just incredible. Another thing I want you guys to see is what the fundi is doing right there. I talk about the importance of how as high a step is in the comfort when you're walking around. So you know the fine urban interiors team makes sure that everything is measured out so that we make sure that our client is getting the best of the best in terms of comfort throughout the entire house. We're not going to measure one area and forget another. Every step in this house is going to be measured to perfection. So let me test them out for now. I know they're not done, but I guarantee you it's gonna feel very comfortable. So we are now in the dining room. The, a major thing with this project was having spaces that just didn't feel like they fit this house. They felt very small, very cramped. So when we came in, we're like, for those spaces, we have to find a way, be it you know, widening windows or finding ways to expand spaces. That, these are things that really do help when it comes to making a space feel bigger. This, again, is someone's house who is going to live here for the long run. This is going to be where they retire, where their kids live for a long time. Hopefully their grandkids get to come here. So we do want to make sure that they're getting the best of the best. So for the dining room, we have made sure that there's a lot of light. It is not the biggest dining room, but we've opened it up and it's now connected directly with the kitchen. Now this kitchen had a huge issue. I've talked about how small some of the spaces were and the kitchen was a prime example. And you know what makes it even worse? Is the fact that when we last came here, the client had already put in cabinetry, which is unfortunate. And you can see that that's just an extra cost that they really didn't have to have. And that's why I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you guys why it's always an excellent idea to have an interior designer from the get-go, preferably an interior designer who has such a great eye, like our lead designer, Cleophis. So he was able to come into this kitchen, see that, oh my God, it's so terrible that you have this cabinetry, but to make sure that you're getting the most out of your kitchen, unfortunately, everything has to come down, but what we're giving you is something excellent, and that is an expansion. That is usually something some designers might be, you know, trying to avoid in terms of, ah, oh, we don't really want to do all that work, but that is what is going to give the client the best results, so we made sure that we had to do that. So initially, this kitchen was a very small kitchen. We completely demolished this wall and pushed it out. There was a space out here that we felt was going to waste, so we've expanded it, and it feels so much bigger. I always talk about feel, and that's what really matters. I've said, this is what the client is going to experience when they walk in. They're going to feel how different the space is, be it the light uh, or the size or the depth of the floor or the height of the walls. You're going to feel everything. So this kitchen feels incredible. And we have some huge plans. I know right now you're like, why is it still open? There is nothing up there. Meanwhile, this site is completely covered. The reason is we want this to feel more dynamic. And of course, we're an interior design company. So of course, we want things that feel aesthetically pleasing. We are going to add a clear roofing to this area to ensure they're getting as much light as possible into the kitchen. We're not just going to expand it and keep it dark, but also it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to look good. It's going to make the kitchen feel even bigger. And once we have all the cabinetry and all the fittings of the kitchen, I'm sure the client is going to be so, so happy about it. Now let's head on out. We're gonna take a look at one of the bedrooms out here, but I want you guys to take note. Everywhere we're walking, you can see the makings of gypsum. You know, of course, we're going to complete all the gypsum off. So you can see we already have some channels up there, and that's another point that I really want to talk about, is the fact that when you're working with fine urban construction and interiors, we do not just sit and wait 
for, okay, you finish and then you finish and then you finish. We have a very organized way of understanding how the different processes of interior design can work in at, at the same time without really interfering with each other. That way we're able to hit our deadlines, you know, finish our projects within time, but also provide very high quality work. Because right now we have the people working on the stairs, but we've also had the people who have gypsum come in and do that first layer. That means that the work will really progress timely instead of waiting for this team to finish and then that team to finish it just kills a lot of time but anyway let's take a look at the room we have some really nice spaced out rooms but in each room that we go to you will notice that the walls we did do some work some of the walls were not in the best condition so of course before we can come in here and beautify we have to make sure that the structure itself is sound so checking for any cracks if there's any damage of any sort we're going to fix it before we do anything else of course we also have to ensure that we have enough light in every room to analyze are we going to need to take out any windows expand anything and every room that you're going to see we did that exact same process and that will really help us in deciding all the beautiful things to put in the room as well you know if you have a room that doesn't have enough light and you're not able to expand that the window for one reason or another the thing you can do is really play around the type of uh, tiles or paints that you're going to have on the wall to allow the client to also still have the freedom to add in their own decorative features these are things that you really need to take into account Every room is also an ensuite, so let's take a look at the ensuite because all the bathrooms in this property had that space issue. So that means the sink and the toilets were too close together and doors were just not closing properly or opening all the way and you had to do this thing where you squeeze in and maneuver and no one wants that. You might have to deal with that outside of your home because you can't control that, but when you can control things like that, do it because it's really really uncomfortable having this one area in your house where the door just doesn't function well or you can't deal with one thing without bumping into another so we made sure to really look at the layout of all the bathrooms making sure the shower sink and toilet bowl were all well spaced out to make sure whoever is using that space is going to have the utmost comfort so let's head up to the stairs there's so much going on in that staircase and i love it Here, we actually have a space right here that actually plays a part in some of the decorative features you're going to see at the stairwell. Here we have a common bathroom. Now, there's not much to talk about when it comes to the bathroom itself because, you know, it's here mostly for functionality, but because it needed to get as much light as possible, we came up with the design of having these openings over here which will provide more light into the bathroom but of course we want to create privacy so what we're going to include so that people have privacy is some frosted glass of course it's going to be decorative because again we do care about aesthetics but it also provides a very beautiful feature for the staircase do, don't you just love when things can work for two spaces at once? That's just incredible. Again, that is that great eye of our lead designer. He's just incredible and is able to create opportunities that serve multiple spaces at once. So this is definitely going to be very beautiful for the sterile, but it's going to be very functional for the common bathroom. So let's head upstairs and take a look at what's going on up there. So you know these grills are gonna be changed, the gypsum, there's going to be so much light once the stairs are done. I cannot wait to see what they come up with in terms of design. And you know I talk about the impression once you're on the top floor, of course this wall is not gonna be bare. I just, I have no clue what they're going to do, but I am on this journey with you guys. So when I find out, you'll find out and we'll all get to enjoy this transformation. I don't know why I'm just noticing that up here the gypsum has even gone further. We now have the first layer of boards, of course. You can't see what the design is just yet, but it's impressive. That just shows me that things are going even faster than I initially thought. So the next level will be now starting to build out those designs. That is super exciting. I can see that it also goes into the rooms as well. 
it's just incredible getting to see these people are really working fast i'm so impressed so for this bedroom of course you can see there's a major difference we see we've already done the undercoat and the filler for the walls that's why it's looking very bright and white i've gone on multiple times about the importance of going through these steps you want to make sure that your wall is in the best condition before you put anything else on top of it so i always say that you could have the greatest paint in the world but if you did not make sure that your wall was solid or did not have cracks you've just done zero work because it'll just be bumpy and uneven and it would be even worse if you did not check for any cracks because you've just basically done nothing you've beautified something that was not good to begin with so i'm usually very happy when i see this step because i'm so sure that everything is going to turn out amazing and that's why fine oven construction and interiors is completely unbeatable when it comes to the interior design game so here's another prime example of a bathroom this one did have quite a bit of work you'll get to see the before again it was just thinking about those layouts making sure that whoever is going to be using this bathroom is going to be very very comfortable and have everything spaced out evenly we like to make sure that if someone has built a house with uh, every room having its own bathroom, of course, what is the purpose of that? It's to make sure everyone has their own privacy and that also creates comfort because you don't really have to interact with other people or kind of waste time waiting for someone else to finish using a shower so that you can go in. Everyone has that privacy and comfort. So when the people who come in and now put in your fittings do not put that in, into consideration, it really does mess up everything. So when we came in, we knew that we want to accomplish the client's original idea of having everyone being comfortable. And that's why we really take the time to think about the layouts of all the bathrooms to make sure every single person gets that comfort that was initially meant to be there. So let's take a look at some of the other rooms. For this master bedroom we have so many big plans but i want to do that thing where i don't tell you exactly what we want to do because i want you guys to be here in the next video when i'm revealing when things are really taking shape because this is the stage where we're checking everything making sure all the work we've been doing in terms of the structure is good making sure all the walls are solid you know putting the undercoat so this is basically that stage that is coming to an end so the next stage is when you'll really start seeing things taking shape and i really want you guys to be here so i'm not going to go into detail about what we want to do for the main room but i do want to talk about the bathroom because this has been a major renovation you know master bathrooms have to be something else have to be out of this world and we always go 100 percent. so let's take a look at the master bathroom So the thing I love the most about this bathroom, as much as I enjoy taking a good bath, if I had the option of only having a shower, make it a big shower, like make it an experience. And that's exactly what this is going to be. So this entire section, this entire section over here is going to be the shower. There's going to be a partition that sections this off because again, water, you don't want water to get all over the place so we're going to have a partition for this section you're going to have your shower on this end and then you might be wondering what's going on over here what's this little thing is it like a step are you supposed to step and go somewhere no it's not a step guys it's somewhere that the client can sit down this is actually because as people age you know you things simple things can get a bit more difficult so something like taking a shower you might need a break to sit down for a minute or two you know instead of having to bend and kind of rub your legs you also have somewhere you could put up your leg and make that easier for you or sit down and do it instead so we really do consider comfort as people are aging and i definitely feel like once this area is done it's going to hit all those notes 
Now, with that said, of course, a bathroom is not just a shower. It needs to have all the amenities. So, of course, here you can tell we are planning to do his and hers sink. We're going to have his and hers sink here. Again, I always go on about this because I know some people might think it's, oh, you're going a bit overboard. What's the point of having two sinks? It's only two people using the bathroom, but honestly, if you've ever lived with someone, you know, you know how much of a benefit this would be having two sinks where you're not in each other's way. Everyone can do their business in their own time without worrying like there's someone else waiting to use the space. So that's why it's important to have his and her sink. And also for organization, everyone has their own space. Therefore, your stuff is not, oh, where did I put uh, my ointment? No, it's on your side, it's on this side. No, everyone has their own space. So it's going to be super organized. And again, the most important feature of a bathroom is the toilet bowl. Of course, you have to put it next to the window because ventilation is very, very important. And you've seen me walking through the space, you can tell that there is enough room to go around, which I really enjoy. The last thing you wanna do is embellish and put all these fittings and all these extra things but you're sacrificing on space. It just doesn't work like that. You have to make sure everything is well balanced out. And I guarantee you guys, you know Fine Oven Construction Interiors always thinks about creating balance because the last thing we want is to create something beautiful that the client is constantly uncomfortable every single time that they have to walk into that room. Because like, I like the way it looks, but honestly, when it comes to functionality, it's just not doing anything for me. And this bathroom is going to be a major win. I can feel it. I know this is one of those stages again where it doesn't look like, like there's much going on, but you can tell there's a lot of thought that has gone into the layout of this bathroom. So we decided when you have a house like this, why have one kitchen? We wanted to create an underground kitchen. I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not a kitchen. We're actually just digging out that space and building an area where they can put in tanks because again, that is something that tends to look garish on a property. If you do not have a designated area for it, you could just find tanks laying all over the place, taking up unnecessary space. So. We dug out an area so that they have their water supply and it's somewhere that's far away. I guarantee you that once we're done, I know things look really messy right now, but of course that's what comes with digging. But once we are done, I guarantee you this space is going to look absolutely immaculate. You're not even going to remember that it looked like this before, but I'll make sure I remind you and show you before footage so that you can see the incredible transformation that was here. Again, this is another touch that showcases the thought process that goes into every single thing that fine urban construction and interiors does. The thought of having the tanks underground, putting in that work, taking that time, building it out, making sure that every single thing is well thought of is incredible. So guys, this is an exterior kitchen and I just wanted to come here to prove a point that when I say that we don't leave anything out when we're doing our construction and interiors. I mean absolutely everything. So here is a perfect place to get to see some more of that molding. You know, another thing that brings me so much happiness is when I can see all the structures in a compound have harmony. Everything feels like it works in that compound, like it belongs there. So I want you guys to do to try and visualize right we have that main structure we've done all that incredible molding it looks so magnificent and then the exterior kitchen is left bland it's left blank we just leave it as it is it would be so jarring and you'd feel like it's just less luxurious and so out of place because 
no one put in the thought to actually put the molding to make the two structures feel harmonious. So here you can see we've done the same type of molding. So the house and the exterior kitchen do feel like they're one. It gives off the same vibes. So that way it makes sure that at any point, at any point within this compound, whoever's walking around is going to feel very, very good and really visually enjoy the look of everything. We are in Yamira County, so if you're looking for anyone, feel free to contact us. I hope you guys have really enjoyed the store because I genuinely have. And don't forget, if you want to see our content, catch up with this project and many more that we're doing, follow us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, comment, like, subscribe, and share, 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 please do share. And don't forget to turn on your notification bells because that's the only way you'll know every single time there's a new upload. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you hit that bell. And we are all on, we're, we are. We are all on, we are.